Well, the racial divide in our country spilled out right onto this high profile billboard you're seeing right off I-65. This is across from the fairgrounds. From the Castleman statue to bridges and now billboards, there's been a lot of political graffiti showing up in our area. Kristen Goodwillie found the sign before the crews replaced it. The billboard to the left is the one that had the graffiti on it. It's in the middle of the storage spaces property and there's this gate behind it is the interstate. The owner of these storage units tells me they have no responsibility or ownership of the billboard. This billboard greeted drivers on their morning commute. What it's supposed to say is America's Day at the races. What it actually says is America's Day as a racist. In addition to changing races to racist, it also says Trump 2020. The original billboard shows a horse and promotes a live stream of the Churchill Downs racing. I reached out to Churchill Downs and they told me that this isn't their billboard. It's owned by Fox Sports 2. Crews from Outfront Media were out at 10 a.m. taking down the billboard and replacing it with one for our new morning show. They took the tagged one down, rolled it up, and put it in their trucks before driving away. Our Wake Up 11 billboard was supposed to go up on Friday. We have reached out to Outfront Media and they haven't responded to our call. The graffiti is signed by the group Resist 45. This isn't the first time they've taken credit for a political tagging like this. Back in February, we reported that they had a billboard say kill the NRA. Resist 45 is a group that opposes President Donald Trump. According to Metro Police, they are aware of the graffiti and have no suspects at this time. If you are caught tagging, you'll be cited with criminal mischief. From there, it'll be a felony or misdemeanor depending on the damages. I'm Kristen Goodwillie, WHAS 11 News.